Well, there she goes. Gone for another week. Actually, left a little later today. Uh, good Monday morning, everybody. So, I have spent, well, spent a few days trying to locate a uh, rock picker or something to help me pick up rocks up there where we plowed last week. And uh, I finally found one. Um, Mr. Jackson's got a couple of them. He said, I'm more than welcome to come up there and borrow one. Uh, he's got a big one and a small one. Uh, for my tractor, probably the small one's going to work. So he said, I could, uh, all the hydraulics are up on it. I can pull it with my truck to get it down here. So, um, yeah, let me get the truck fired up, let it get warmed up for a bit. And, uh, I'll see you guys in a minute. got a equipment storage down the road here uh out past uh tom's the uh, tractor supply out there so we're gonna run down here and grab this i think i might stop off at tom's shop i still haven't uh come to well tom and i haven't signed any papers yet on the on the john deere so I'm going to go and stop and talk with the mechanic one more time and see what he says before I make my final decision. Oh, oh no. Can't believe he just left the scene of the accident. I mean, look at this. Oh, you're going to blow at me? Oh, man. All right, well, it didn't hurt anything. Evidently, he just hit the tire. I don't know if the dude didn't have insurance or not, but... Uh, it was totally my fault. He could have had a case, but I... Here in, uh, I don't know if here in North Carolina, if you don't have insurance, it's automatically your fault because you shouldn't have the vehicle on the road in the first place. It's the only thing I can think of. So, yeah, that was totally my fault. Yeah, it seems all right right now. And when I get back home, I'll look everything over real good and see. <laughs> I can't be buying a truck right now. I mean, come on. But that was my fault. Absolutely my fault. All right. I get where I don't want to sit and wait there. And I just, sometimes I just pull out, just get aggravated and go. We'll pull in up here at Tom's.
Well, <laughs> plenty of John Deere stuff in here. There's my tractor. I guess the, well, the office is right there. Go check in with him. I'll be right back with you. All right, thank you. Appreciate you. Give me a soda here. It's a big old case back there. Uh, anyways. Big old planner. So, uh, yeah. What we're looking at is... He said between three and four thousand dollars for that. It's pretty much it's about a couple of thousand dollars just for him to crack it and put it back together, and then depending on what he sees, you know, another thousand to two thousand in parts and labor. And I mean, that tractor's done me well; it really has. But I do like the other one, so I may. Yeah, I may just go down and talk with Tom. Let's see what he says. One thing I did kind of notice in there, that small little uh, seed drill. I don't need to hit another vehicle. I think it takes a 40 acres to turn around sometimes. We'll run down here and get this rock picker and uh, get going on that. Supposedly it's just right down the road here. Pay attention before I pull out. it's up here right a driveways right across the house from a house kind of go through the trees there's the house yeah there's the driveway I think I did a UE right there Wow, these trees are overgrown. <laughs> wow. This is um, equipment sheds. Oh, there they are. There's the Kinsey planter. That's another, that's a different case up there. Yeah, I think based on kind of what he was telling me, I probably need to use that small one. So let me get lined up and get that thing hooked up. That's close enough. No, too far. Pull up just a hair. There we go. Yeah, it looks like it's up off the ground, so. I've never used one of these. I guess it's all hydraulically controlled. So. This is a lot of shed space. Old international cultivator. It's a fairly new combine. Seventy two fifty. Hmm. 
he seems to be a case international fan so which is all right i mean i like them all yeah that's the one i used pull the planter yeah, he's got a bigger boy that probably does some of his tillage and maybe hooks to the grain cart there You know, it's that young boy, young Mr. Jake. I mean, Grandpa was basically handing him, a, you know, all of this. I don't know what happened. I know it aggravated Mr. Jackson. I guess he was fronting some of the money for seed and well, inputs. Yeah, it tracks to that side, so we'll have to be careful. Try not to tear up many trees, or not trees, but signs. All right, well, I'm going to concentrate on this, and uh, I'll see you guys back at the farm. I did want to come back and say, you know, the Mossy Pine Boys, uh, Chris and John, they, uh, this weekend was kind of interesting. Done something I'd never done before. Um, we cut grass, and they bailed the grass. So, I mean, they're, I mean, I know they're struggling right now. It's one of the reasons why I decided to help them. Um, but yeah, they don't, they don't have a tether. They don't have a, uh, a rake. So, and they're pretty hard up for money that they're just cutting the grass and belling it. Now, somebody's buying it. Must be for sheep or or something else is the only thing I can think of. But, uh, yeah, um, it's something I've never done, and I don't know if it's a thing around here or not, or a thing in, in Pennsylvania. So. so maybe when everything grows out again, I might present to them I'll, uh, I'll cut their hay on halves, and that'll... Give me a little bit extra hay. And then that should give them some more money. So go in here. Yeah, left the international down here. I did get the John Deere uh hooked up with the fertilize spreader. I think I'm gonna go ahead and spread some fertilize on that field and uh, Bob's field across the road there. I've got plenty of it, so might as well use it. So. Interesting. I've never used one. Pull over here by the trees. Yeah, so it's the third week of May right now. Everything's starting to warm up. And of course, everything's real green now. I know I've already said, told you guys how much I enjoy springtime. down let me back it in over here by the trees need to start closing those doors at night
before I get down there. Let's see. All right, that lever does that. This one. And there we go. Okay. All righty. Get down here and get some work done. Did hear Bob come home last night. They've been down here working over the weekend. So. Probably better to do it from inside the would be interesting. Well, my neighbor came over. And uh, he's been wanting to help me for a while now. I'm telling you that right there, that's tedious work. So I decided, sure, you can help me out. So he's going to run this for a bit. Um, let me run up here and get the uh, John Deere with the fertilized spreader. And go ahead and get that going. I think it's doing a decent job. Not sure what Bob's doing. As long as he gets the job done, he don't tear anything up. He can pull forward and back up all he wants to. You're good, Bob. Come on. All right, I can't watch this. I'm gonna run down here and get the get the John Deere and spread some fertilizer on that field across the road. I got a phone call from the guys uh, doing the solar. They'll probably be here in a couple hours. It'll just take them a few days to get it done. And I talked to the lime guy. He can come out here in the morning and spread. So, you know, things are moving along. Pile of dirt over there. Know that backhoe was out there working quite a bit this weekend. Well, I'll we'll get down here to the John Deere and uh, get everything ready to go. Well, got it filled up with lime, lime. <laughs> fertilizer got lime on my brain so we'll run over here and fertilize this real quick get the 
Now, in the beginning, I'll only be powering mainly the battery banks, and I'll be powering the, uh, the RV. I will not be doing any feedback into the system, so... So it's not like I'm, I mean, I'm spending a pretty penny on this, but like I said, I, I more want it to be self-reliant than I am for, you know, reducing my electric bill, which the electric bill, reducing that's going to be, you know, icing on the cake. But uh, we'll get started here, and I'll throw the drone up in the air, and, and uh, this won't take very long at all. I just got a call from the solar guys. They're going to be here just any minute. I just got finished with uh, with fertilizing this. Okay, I'm going to go down there and check on Bob. I don't know. Through the lens of the um, drone, it looked like A, either he was missing a bunch or B, um, that picker's just not picking up the stone like I'd hoped. But, uh, yeah, we'll just have to run down there and see what's going on here. As soon as these guys get here and I kind of talk to them, so uh, I'll meet back up with you guys here in just a few minutes. Well, those guys know what they're going to be doing now, or at least where everything's going, so... Let me run down here and check on Bob. One oh, of those soybeans, I, they're not growing much. Of course, we haven't had a whole lot of rain, so.
I'm hoping we get a little bit of rain soon and it starts coming on. It's not looking bad, I, I don't guess. Oh, it's always way down there. Well, I guess I'm going to put the drone up and uh, follow him a little bit. Bob's going home. He said he's had enough seat time in that tractor, which I don't blame him. Now that looks good, though. It looks real good. So I'm going to let the tractor sit there and just kind of idle for a bit. It's been put through its paces, but this is the amount of rocks that we picked up out of that. Well, I shouldn't. Yeah, partially, but mainly Bob picked up out of the out of the field. That's uh that's quite a few stones. So but man it looks good. It's it's ready for planting. So I think what I'm gonna do is go ahead and I got plenty of fertilizer in here. I think I'm gonna go ahead and fertilize while that tractor's Sitting there kind of cooling off. And, uh, yeah. I'll throw the drone back up. Here we go.
Yeah, we're getting finished. Last little bit. Go up here and shut the uh, international off. Well, it's been a day. So tomorrow, I got the guy coming to spread lime. I need to see if I can get my hands on a cedar. I know Tom's got a few up there. Maybe he'll let me least one I don't need it for very long but to see oh, the truck's gone up here left the gooseneck and the excavator this still got a little bit left in there Well, it looks like they may have conduit buried. Well, I'm excited. Maybe this week we'll be generating our own power. So, one more step to getting the farm the way we want it. Um, yeah, in a couple of weeks, I'll be heading back home to pick up, uh, well, I'll be mainly selling most of the cows, and I'll be bringing a few back with me. I think my son's going to buy some. He can't buy them all. Uh, I got several, several head out there, so that'll be a nice little payday. And it's beautiful weather. I love this weather. Grass is already starting to grow back. Don't take long. So, but I appreciate. Can't talk today. I appreciate everybody tuning in, watching. You guys make it fun. So, anyways. Yeah, until tomorrow morning. I think I'm going to go in and uh, hire a bologna. I think I got some SpaghettiOs and meatballs. I'm going to go warm some of that up. I'll talk to you guys later. Have a good one.